For most of the people arriving this morning, Texas Jam was a traffic jam. Weather conditions and Fair Park construction slowed the cars on I-30. And once they arrived at the Cotton Bowl, fans waited in a second line. They were herded through the gates in groups of 100 at a time. Dallas police and private security guards used metal detectors to check the crowd for bottles and weapons. The long wait in the sun was too much for some fans, and people began to suffer from the heat and humidity before they even made it to their seats. 250 medical personnel treated their patients at five first aid stations throughout the Cotton Bowl. We gave a few hints all week on how to come out here prepared for it, and I think for the most part, considering the number of cases we've had, uh, the people are pretty much taking precautions as far as uh, eating before they come, drinking lots of liquids, and uh, wearing cool, loose clothing, clothing, covering on their head, etc. And while doctors treated patients on the floor of the stadium, security personnel set up their own informal medical practice to prevent more heat problems. For much of the afternoon, the man with the water hose was more popular than the heavy metal musicians. But by the time Ted Nugent took the stage, most of the crowd had settled down to hard rock hysteria. In addition to the box office take, concert promoters say they will sell a half million dollars in t-shirts and souvenirs. And by one o'clock this afternoon, 20,000 official Texas Jam t-shirts were sold out. Many of these fans